All right, what's going on, guys? I just, uh, I didn't, I haven't put up a video of my phone in uh, a couple weeks, actually, besides the camera test I did. Uh, I think pretty much like a week ago. Sorry, it's kind of glary right now. And so I decided to go ahead and do a review of Sign Ninja Mod 7 since I had, uh, I had just gotten, I just updated actually last night to, uh, it was like, um, it was like nightly 14, but after RC2 was released, I think it's it's either RC2 or RC1. I can't remember if they've already released RC2, but whatever RC was the latest is what I'm trying to say. So uh, I was really excited about this because uh, they have WiMAX now, which I want to show you guys. And so I figured now I'd go ahead and do a review of it since it's it's not the the uh, the actual release of Sign Engine Mod 7, but it does have one of the features I've been really looking forward to. So. As you can see, WiMAX. We now have WiMAX, which is 4G, if all of you don't know that. Uh, also, just real quick, just to say uh, about phone. Um, this is Android 2.3.3, so it's a gingerbread ROM. And uh, I don't know what the difference exactly is from 2.3.2 uh, to 2.3.3, but uh, they are both gingerbread, so 2.3 anything is gingerbread. So one of the things I want to go over was the 4G. Now, I'm not actually in a 4G area where I live, so uh, usually whenever I just go to 4G, uh, it just scans up here, as at, least, at least where I live. Like, I'm right by AT&T building, I guess, and that might screw it up. But So it's basically just going to be scanning, but I'll show you in a second. A little icon will come up here saying 4G, just like it would on the stock Evo ROM, the Sense ROM, um, or just any, any ROM with WiMAX. Uh, as you can see right there, I don't know why it's so glary right now, uh, but that does say 4G and it's got the, uh, the wireless bars or whatever. And so that's really awesome. I'm really happy that they have 4G. Now mine's going to pretty much keep scanning and just turn it off but because I'm not actually in a 4G area as of right now. But, uh, but um, yeah, so that's basically the 4G, uh, which is really exciting. I'm glad that they added that in there. Uh, considering I have an Evo, it was kind of really really sucky that they uh, didn't have 4G on the sign engine mod, previous sign engine mod ROMs. Um, the FM radio is working, a lot of stuff is working. Uh, you got your theme chooser right here if you want to change your theme. There's a couple, there's like three of them right now that they have, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got your terminal, terminal emulator. Um, I'm just trying to think, Google Chrome. They have this thing called books. I, I don't exactly know what it is. I guess it's like maybe the uh, just like a book app you can store books or get books or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but those are basically the, the things I want to talk about. Uh, as you can see, the, it's a really, really fast ROM. It's 2.3, so of course it's going to be faster than Froyo, which as we all know was an amazing, amazing uh, ROM or uh, what am I trying to say? Android version, I guess. And as you can see, it's super responsive. Every tap I hit on the screen, it reacts to it. So it's an extremely, extremely responsive ROM. It's super fast. Um, as far as the keyboard goes, I figured I'd go ahead and do this. Um, the Android keyboard, so if you go to texting, um, here, you pull up the keyboard. Sorry, it's so freaking bright. Uh, yeah, it does look a little bit different, but I, I really actually love it. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, you, of course, you can get swipe on it. One thing I did want to add to the uh, this the gingerbread thing. I, I don't know exactly why this is, but I tried to uh, my first flash sign image one seven. I, I tried to get the free wireless tether app that uh, that everybody's you know if you're rooted that's like the app to get. And for some reason, I can't actually get the wireless tether app. Uh, I can download it, but it never actually works. I can't connect to anything or. It just doesn't work, so that is kind of a huge downside to it, but, um, so, you know, that is kind of a bummer, but you can always go back to previous signage and mod ROMs if that's just what you need, so, it's really not something I really quite need so much, so it's not really a big deal to me, I think it's really fast, the fact that they have 4G is just pretty much everything I need, uh, I thought it was really awesome, of course you got Google Talk, um, all kinds of stuff, and the web browser, yeah, uh, that's really all I wanted to go over today. Of course, there's all kinds of customization settings, like uh, so many. And one thing I actually want to go over that I thought was kind of cool, not anything big, but they added a whole bunch of new Cyanogen mod wallpapers, and they're really cool looking. Like, there's this one, it's got like the planet, 
looks really cool. Um, there's like five or six other ones that they added in there. I thought that was really awesome. So uh, that's really it, guys. That's all I want to go over today. And so far is what I can tell. Uh, oh, battery life. That's another thing. Uh, battery life on Cyan and Jamont is ridiculously impressive. It's so freaking... It's so much better than the... Uh, the stock ROMs and I, any other ROMs I've ever ran, it it just totally blows them away. The battery life is outstanding on these. I can get like running live wall papers, background and data, full animation, uh, sync, all that stuff like that. And I'm on my phone quite a bit. Uh, I can get 12, 13 hours out of battery life, or even more, 14 to 15. So that's for the Evo 4G. That's really, really good, guys. Uh, if you're running on the stock stock ROM, uh, you you probably know that it. I mean that's just that's crazy. Whenever I was on the stock ROM, I got like maybe eight hours max. So and I'm not even using any task managers or uh, any apps to help the battery out. I, I'm this is just this is just the battery life. How good it is on San Andreas mod. So and it's really important to have good battery life. I think definitely on this uh, compared to how it usually is. So all right, that's really all I wanted to go over today. Uh, if you want to see anything else, I guess, just comment me, but that's really all I want to go over. Again, uh, as far as force closes, I actually haven't gotten any in this, uh, nightly, so that's really awesome. And, that's really it. No, no real bugs, nothing like that, and I hope you like this video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter at Orion I is I. Same thing as my YouTube channel name. And, uh, alright, that's really it, guys. Thanks for watching, and subscribe. And I will see you next video. So, um, thank you. Bye.